Trevor Houston, uh, good morning, and especially good morning to Colonel Select Boss. Good morning, Dan. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. The intravehicular astronaut, or IV crew member, is pilot Ken Cockrell. Uh, he may be assisting uh, this morning during uh, some of the uh, portions of this uh, uh, spacesuit checkout procedure. Uh, Cockrell uh, will be orchestrating uh, the spacewalk, choreographing uh, Voss and Gernhardt while they're out in the cargo bay uh, from the aft flight deck of Endeavour. Again, this live picture being seen from the airlock of the shuttle Endeavour showing astronauts Jim Voss with his back toward the camera and Mike Gernhardt conducting a checkout of the extravehicular mobility units or spacesuits they will wear on Saturday for a six-hour spacewalk that is scheduled to begin about 3 a.m. Central Time to test uh, new thermal improvements made to those suits as well as the tools and techniques which are being developed for incorporation into the flight planning for the assembly of the International Space Station. This will be the second shuttle spacewalk of the year to test out uh, this type of activity. Uh, two additional spacewalks are planned on the next flight of Endeavour, STS-72, which is now scheduled for launch in the mid-January time frame. And we're with you in the mid-deck. Okay, welcome aboard. Mike and I are just down here putting together our tools. He's got a couple of the debris shield handling tools in his hand, and I've got one. He's going to put those on his suit, and I'm putting the other one in our tote sack, this big bag that we have here where we're going to put all of our miscellaneous tools that we're carrying out for our uh, evaluations. And I've got a little coffee cup-shaped device here that is a worksite interface that we're also going to carry out in the bag. So you'll just be seeing us putting a lot of our different tools into the bag, getting them ready for the EVA. And we'll try to pause once in a while and tell you what it is that uh, we're putting in as we get to them. Understand, Doug Face. This, uh, this live television picture coming from the mid-deck of the shuttle Endeavour. Uh, we found working with our checklist that was put together by our EVA trainer, Matt Mickel, Mutt, uh, is extremely easy. It's cross-reference alphabetically, and uh, here with the configuration drawing has made it really easy for us to find all of our stuff and put it together. Copy. This television from the mid-deck of Endeavour showing payload commander Jim Voss uh, checking out the various tools that he and Mike Gernhardt will use Saturday during their six-hour spacewalk in Endeavour's cargo bay. This view from the shuttle Endeavour is of uh, Tropical Storm Marilyn, which has formed uh, out in the uh, uh, Atlantic, uh, in the Caribbean area. Uh, Marilyn had been a tropical depression until uh, late yesterday, early this morning, uh, when its uh, winds uh, reached tropical storm strength and it uh, acquired the name Marilyn. Uh, that view from the shuttle Endeavour of the newest tropical storm in this uh, current hurricane season, uh, the latest named storm is Marilyn.
This is Mission Control Houston as Endeavour is sailing just over the western coast of the South American continent at an altitude of about 216 nautical miles. We are receiving live television from the payload bay cameras on board Endeavour. Go ahead, Endeavor. Victoria, I hope y'all were watching on that pass. That was a beautiful one across South America. You know we were. That's good. I wasn't sure if you were still taking it down or not. Uh, it was a really nice look at the Amazon River. It's much more clear than usual. Yeah, in fact, that's what I was saying to Dave uh, in this is my third flight now. It's the first time I've ever actually seen the river itself. It's always cloud-covered. In fact, we've kind of noticed uh, that you have fewer clouds all over the world than a typical flight. 